Okay, welcome back. Um, you have clicked on this video to get a little help with journal number six. So when you first clicked on the link in Schoology, it opened up this form for journal number six. You're gonna put in your name, so your first name, and then your last name, and then your class period, and then hit next. And then the question itself will pop up. A mother wanted to see which type of baby food her child eats the most of. What is the IV, the DV, and also give at least two constants. So we know if which type of baby food, we know that IV is a type of baby food. Now, what do we mean by type of baby food? It could be brand or it could be flavor. Not both, I don't think. So, for example, if you wanted to see if your baby preferred the Great Value brand versus Beech Nut or uh, Gerber, then you would buy Gerber peaches, Great Value peaches, and Beech Nut peaches, and the brand would be your IV, but the flavor would stay constant. Or you could stick with only Gerber and see which of the Gerber fruits they like the best. So Gerber peaches, Gerber bananas, Gerber apricots. And in that case, the flavor would be the IV and the brand would be constant. I would not recommend mixing both up because again, it would be an invalid experiment. You might have too many variables. You've got to only have one IV. DV is what's being measured. And here it says, which amount, which food they eat the most of. So the DV is the amount of food eaten. That's what she's going to measure is how much of it did the baby eat. So what things are going to need to stay constant here? So if the only thing we're changing is either the brand or the flavor of the baby food and everything else needs to stay the same, well, then that means that Whichever one we chose for our IV needs to stay the same in our constants, the, the other one. So if we chose brand for our IV, flavor needs to stay the same. If we say flavor is our IV, then brand needs to stay the same. So either brand or flavor, whichever wasn't chosen as IV, would need to stay constant. So if you chose your brand as your IV, then the flavor would need to be constant. If you chose the flavor as your IV, then the brand would need to be constant. Okay, what else would need to change? So we also need the baby itself, right? Because kids have different taste profiles. Like one of my kids didn't like baby food peas, but liked real peas. One of my kids didn't like baby food green beans, but liked real green beans. And then they they like the opposite thing. So, you know, babies have different taste choices just like we do. Um, the location. So you can't feed the baby in the living room one time and in the kitchen one time. The seating arrangement. So you can't put the child in a high chair one time and then put them in a, uh, a big person chair another time and then another time have someone hold them in their lap. It needs to stay the same. Whatever you're doing, it needs to stay the same. The person doing the feeding needs to stay the same because it might be that for mom and dad, the baby's like, sure, yeah, no problem. But when little sister comes in, he likes to tease little sister and closes his mouth up tight and mm -mm -mm -mm, won't eat. Uh, the method used to feed. So you can't just say, you know, here, open your mouth for one of them. And then the other one do the whole near, open the hanger. Here comes the airplane. Whatever method it is you're using to feed the baby needs to be the same every time. Because if you just say, hey, kid, open your mouth, you're probably not going to get the same result as if you do a cute little airplane. Uh, the temperature of the food needs to be the same. If it's room temperature for one, it needs to be room temperature for all. If it's slightly warmed up for one, it needs to be slightly warmed up for all because that could make a difference. The time of day the food is offered uh, needs to stay the same because what if the kid's just not hungry or what if he's grumpy or sleepy or whatever? And then the amount of food offered needs to stay the same because if you offer a big pile of food, they may not be as interested or if you offer a little bit of food, they may not be as interested. 
Uh, so you got to keep track of all that. And then the other thing that um, is, is pretty important that you think about when feeding little kids is the dishes used. So if all you have is a plain little plate, the kid may not be as motivated to eat as much as if there's a little Thomas the Tank Engine that's revealed after he eats all of his food or whatever. So if it's a cute little plate, it needs to be a cute little plate for every one of them. If it's a plain dish and a plain spoon, it needs to be a plain dish and a plain spoon for all of them. Okay, you only have to name two. I gave you lots. If you can think of others, I'm sure that would be fine. Once you've done all that, you're going to hit submit. And it should give you your score has been submitted. And if you want to uh, edit your response and come back, if you if you find that you want to change something, you're allowed to do that. All right. Thanks. Bye.